video you will try to configure ICCPD and check the configuration using MLAG DCTA. So this we are not using a lag interface, we are using a normal Ethernet interface to check the connectivity of active and standby. So for that we have a two Linux machine and we have to install ICCPD, compile and install ICCPD and MC lag. So if you are not aware of that then you can check the playlist then we after that installation you can follow the steps followed. So this is PC1, 105, 102. I have uh, two sessions. This is PC2, 107. So this is the path I have set. So, uh, this code is taken from Sonic. All those will be explained in the old video. So here, this is the ICPD daemon which we have to run. So before running, go to the second prompt. Here you have MC lag. So if you see dumb state, nothing will be there. Now we will start running this ICCPD. Yes, sir. before this, you need to create a config file. So, for config file, go etc ICCPD ICCB.com. This is the file. So, this is the lag ID, MC lag ID. This is the local IP, prior IP, peer IP, and this is the link, peer link type. So, what I am going to do to create an interface with an IP, make sure that is pinging both sides. I have used this one. So this is the IP. This is the IP. This side. Go to the other PC and check. So this is 5.1. This is 5.2. Just ping to 5.1. Make sure the ping is active. Only then it, this will work. So this ping is active. We are set up. Now we can start running. So now make sure that file is created in both the parts. So that here it should be the reverse etc ICCPD. You can just set here 2 1, there it should be 1 2. You can just pass verify. So, so 1 2, here it should be 2 1. So that is how both can be connected and between them sockets will be created actually tcp socket will be created we'll see how it is so once you run this you can see the dump state see initially while starting see it is error because other side is not active mc lag sync info is also incomplete but local ip prior ip everything we have got it shows active so now in this state you can just check net stat See, it is listening in which port 8888. Now the other side, now we have to start. So here also you can check this net stat, dumb state, nothing will be, sorry. Nothing will be there, now we can start. Once you start here, you can see the socket is created and TCP connection also has established. Now you have to see the dumb state. Keep alive is active, info sync is complete, and then it is active. The other side should be standby. So it is standby. What you can do, you can just capture the packet and check. So before that, so this is the interface on which we have configured, right? We have to check that interface. And you can capture and check. is the interface and run tcp dump tcp dump hyphen see periodic these are all will tcp packets they have captured i will show you the packet capture also so in problem case also we will try to capture and check so how to make a problematic scenario here it's simple just the state one side interface will make try to make it down. So now we know this is the interface, right? Just go to this interface and make it down. So now you see what happens. See it is alive. Uh, it will wait for the number of packets. After some time, this will sh go to error state.
kick him to error state. So in this state you have to see the other side. This also will move to error state. Now we can pick it up. It has to come back. You can capture the packet also. So it has come. So now I will show the packet capture which is already captured. This is the these are the packet captures. So during active standby, so both the cases if you see from 8.1 to 5.2, so it sends TCP between these ports. And these are all the data which is used. And in the standby, you can see the same message is here. This is how they communicate between them. So you can see. And uh, when you do shut, no shut also. When you do a shut, so you see the message until the interface is shut. After that, it goes down. That's why keep alive stops. This is no shut. After no shut, TCP starts establishing. And it again re-invokes the TCP. That's it. So this is the basic uh, configuration for ICCP. You can see this. And uh, next video, we'll see how to use interfaces. See here, Mac, NC lag interface. Like, uh, we'll try to use the interface which is uh, NC lag. That is uh, team D interfaces or lag interfaces, and we'll check how it actually works. For now, this is how normal ICCPD works on the normal interface. Mainly to understand the sync and the keep alive messages, how it works. Thank you.